What's up everybody? So we're gonna continue on with the whole swapping over of everything from the 2600 to the 2000, but today we'll be doing the interior. Now the previous videos you guys got to see, we end up swapping over all the exterior pieces. We got the fenders, the hood, the doors, the bed, all that is swapped over. So now we are jumping onto the interior. And as you guys can see here, we already have everything torn down out of the 2600 and ready to go. We're actually cleaning up a bunch of stuff, or I guess Luke is right now, just kind of soaking a bunch of, uh, I guess, duct work and stuff. Civic all over again, kind of. Yeah, basically the black Civic when we were putting it into the red Civic. Mm -hmm. We can see here all the vents and stuff. He's getting all nice and cleaned up. We've got the dash and everything tore apart. Now, as far as that goes, having everything laid out here, we're gonna do a little bit more rather than just swap over these pieces. We're gonna actually be painting everything. So you can see here, these pieces here, like it's gray, but it's faded. Same thing with these lower pieces, the upper trim pieces. They're not really the vibrant colors that they used to be. So our plan today is to go ahead, sand everything down, or I guess scotch bright it, and we're gonna go ahead and paint everything black because, I mean, a black interior looks Way, way nicer. It looks more think, modern. I don't think they came black either. That yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the B series trucks did come black. I mean, if you guys know, let us know in the comments below. But that is our goal today: is to go ahead, get everything scuffed up, and painted. Now, we do have a few other plans that will be happening with the interior. So, uh, I don't know if we'll tell you that just yet. Um, some of the stuff here, like with the dash, like I said, is going to be painted black. We have this section here which actually goes on top of the dash and i think we showed it to you and told you guys our overall plans of what we wanted to do with the interior but i think that since it is cracked and it is cracked in the in the brown truck too or i guess the b2000 is just go ahead sand this all down fill it in make it nice and smooth and then i think what do you want to do you want to just make it smooth so we can uh vinyl wrap it in the future yeah i think we make it smooth paint it black and then from then on, just make it yeah, so it can be vinyl. Because this thing is not easy to take on and off. It's underneath the dash, you it's bolted in. So dash. rather than pulling the dash every single time, I think vinyl wrap will probably be the smartest move. And then the wiring harness, we're probably gonna swap over the B2000's wiring harness because this thing here is kind of a cluster. The previous owner had like cut up a bunch of stuff to in order to install. There's like an amplifier, there's speakers, the radio. Um, I think there's like a police scanner and stuff underneath the dash. So yeah, we haven't even touched that yet. Yeah, we're just gonna eliminate all that stuff from going into the B2000. So I guess for now, we can go ahead and jump into this and start scuffing everything up and get ready for paint. You guys can see everything here is all scuffed up, ready to go. Um, there's a few other things that we need to do, like the dash. The dash is a bit much. We can't really do that just yet because I got the table set up here and uh, we'll go ahead and spray all this plastic stuff up. Once it's cured and dried, we'll go and swap it out and spray the dash. Now, I know you guys are probably thinking, why don't you just do this with the brown interior? Um, the brown interior, what would you say? It's kind of... Subpar. Yeah, it's got a few more cracks and chips and stuff that's not Dings. as great. The only piece that we really have that was kind of worse in the gray one was this piece here, just because the brown one here um, is better shape. I can show you guys here. It's the, like some chew through the gray one, yeah, has like these little chew marks or something, which is kind of worn down. So we didn't necessarily want that. Um, so we're swapping that out. And then the other thing that I think we're using out of the truck is a little, uh, little plug. Button. And we might take those um, door cards back too. I yeah. Don't know. So we got this little plug here that'll be getting replaced just because this had the remote free wheel. And then, yeah, the door cards. We these ones, something out. These ones have holes and stuff in them. So the one's like bacon. Yeah, kind of bowed. And I was thinking maybe we'd make our own homemade ones here eventually, um, just using those templates. But uh, yeah, those, we'll those door panels that were off of the gray truck are a little bit warped, not the best of shape. Plus the previous owner, I think, put aftermarket speakers in there, mm -hmm. I think. Not sure. Um, I don't know if, like I said, if the B2000s or 2600s came with door speakers, but it doesn't look like they did. It was all pretty much aftermarket based on that wiring mess over there. So for now, we're going to go ahead, get this stuff all set up on the table how we want it to, and uh, we'll probably, first thing will be adhesion promoter, just to make sure the paint actually sticks to it, and then we'll go ahead and hit it with our paint um, to get everything black. 
All right, so we managed to get everything all set up the way I want it to. It's all cleaned off, wax and grease removed, ready to go. I ended up having to put like some stuff over here on top of the garbage can. There's still a few more pieces that will need to go up here, but I don't really have enough space to do all this. Um, we still have like that center um, gauge cluster there. And of course, we still have the dash. Luke's over here scuffing it all up, getting it ready. Now, all this stuff here um, will be getting painted with a black SEM paint, which I actually have over here. Um, we got like three cans of it. You guys can see here the color coats, satin black. Um, this stuff is supposed to be like flexible and work really well with interior plastics. So that's what we went with. And to help adhere this or make it stick better, we have this Bulldog um, adhesion promoter, which we've used in the past. It works really good, works great on plastics, keeps it from like wanting to come off um, or flaking or chipping or doing anything along those lines. Um, now, some of the stuff here on the table, you guys can already see is like black. Um, but I figure if we're gonna go and spray all the gray stuff black. I want to make sure to cover all the black stuff with black. That way, all the uh, I guess the color difference is all the same and equal, and doesn't look too much different. So, with that being said, I think we can go ahead and jump in now. Spray down our bulldog adhesion promoter, and then go ahead and start spraying our color coats. Okay, so that's the first coat we've got down so far. We're gonna let this set for, I don't know, 10 uh, minutes or yeah. so. And then we'll come back, spray our second coat. And we'll probably bring you guys back once it's all completed. Hopefully you guys can hear me, I got my mask on. So we'll just go ahead and wait this one out. Okay, so we just managed to get our last coat down. And you guys can see here, turned out sick. Everything looks so Super good. Super clean. So good. It's gonna look so good back in the truck. All nice and black and freshened up. I'm so happy with this. This looks so good. But we still have a couple more pieces that we need to spray, as well as the dash. The dash stuff. will be a little bit bigger of a job. I think we may have to go get one more can of yeah. uh, black paint. But other than that, we should be good. As far as our pieces go, we still have that little trim piece over there on the ground. And then there's a few over there, like the air vents and stuff like that, that will need to get painted. But, like I said, we will be completed. And once this is done, we can start tearing into the truck and getting everything swapped out. So, yep. can't wait. I'm pretty hyped about this. But yeah, everything looks so good. Look at that. I'm so happy with this stuff. All right, so we'll let this stuff cure up a little bit longer, move it off the table, and then go and spray the rest of the stuff. All right, so now you guys can see here, we got the rest of the pieces sprayed. They look awesome. I'm really happy with the way they turned out. Especially this, this looks mm -hmm. sick. I mean, everything looks really good. All the pieces that we have on the floor, have those all set up there. Those look super good. All that's left to do is just the dash. Now, as far as the dash goes, we don't have enough paint to finish that off, so we're gonna go ahead and run to the store and come back and finish this off. It's a little late right now, so it'll have to be tomorrow morning, but uh, I can't wait to paint that. So we will be right back and get that thing painted. Day two. All right, so now it is the next day. We have the dash and everything set up, ready to go. We ended up picking up another can of the color coat, the SEM stuff Luke's got there. Just be safe because we figured we're probably gonna go through a can, if not two on this one, um, because all this stuff here basically took up three cans. So you can see here, we got everything laid out. It looks so good. I'm really happy with the way everything turned out. It's gonna look super nice once we get it back in the truck. Throw it in the truck already. Yeah, it's gonna look awesome. So we're gonna go ahead, spray the dash now, and uh, crack this door open because last night it got pretty, uh, got bad. pretty stinky. It's still pretty stinky in here right now. You can still smell the paint fumes. So I'm gonna go ahead and set you guys up, and we're gonna start spraying the dash. Alright, so we just managed to get our third coat down on the dash, and it looks so good. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. That black finish, I mean, kind of being a satiny finish, I think it looks really yeah, it looks good. Really it's not glossy or anything. Faded up gray. Yeah. There. We'll give you guys kind of a little walk around here, go and check it all out. Yeah, it looks sick. It's going to look so good once we actually get it in the truck. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. So. With that being said, we're gonna go ahead, let this stuff kind of set up and cure. This stuff that's here on the ground already had its like kind of time to set up. Um, this stuff here is gonna need a little bit of while to uh, cure just because we just got done spraying it. So I think the next video we'll be doing is gonna be this dash piece because once we get ready to reassemble all this stuff back together, that piece there gets bolted in and it's, it's got some cracks, deep. it's got some markings and stuff in it that we want to fix. And if you guys go back to when we first introduced the truck and talked about it, one of the things we wanted to do 
was basically vinyl wrap at. So I think that's what we're gonna do is just prep this all up. So we'll probably fill in each one of these cracks, fiberglass the whole thing, make it nice and smooth. And uh, I guess not necessarily shiny, but it'll probably be the same color as the dash yeah. for the time being. And then we can just Pick vinyl, a vinyl. vinyl wrap it anytime yeah. you want. So if the car is red, it can be red. If the car is blue, it can be blue, red, yellow, carbon green, fiber, orange, carbon fiber, whatever you want. It can be whatever Luke decides. Yeah. Maybe if you're still keeping on with the Dragon Ball Z theme, you can do something along those yeah. lines. I don't know what, but maybe you guys have a suggestion, throw it down in the comments below. But with that being said, we're gonna go ahead, let all this stuff cure up. Next video, we'll be doing that dash piece, and then after that, we should be able to tear into the truck and get everything out. So stay tuned for that. And hopefully you guys like this video, like the way all the dash pieces turned out. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.